So now that we are in Illustrator, let's begin by saving a file first so that we do not risk losing any data. Save as to whichever folder you want. I'm going to be saving it here. Now let's move these letters out of our way because we will be dealing with the lowercase script letters first. Let's remove the unwanted pieces first. Let's zoom into the letter A and choose the pencil tool. Double click on the pencil tool and move it towards the right. We want the points to be smoother. Zoom into the letter furthermore and start correcting the letters. Once you are happy with your letter, make two copies by holding ALT and dragging the letter. Now choose eraser and cut off the entry stem from the first A. Make sure the transition is smooth. Then go to the second A, cut off the exit stem and also cut off the entry stem. Now lastly go to the third A and just cut off the exit stem. So basically what we want is we want one A to have entry stem, one A to have exit stem and one A to have neither the entry stem nor the exit stem. And this procedure will be followed for all the lowercase script letters. Now moving to B, first edit the letters with the pencil tool. Now ALT click and drag to make two copies and follow the same procedure with 1B to have the entry stem, 1B to have the exit stem and 1B to have neither the entry stem nor the exit stem. So cut off the exit stem from this B and the entry stem too.
cut off the exit stem from this bee and and entry stem from this bee again we are going to smoothen it by choosing the eraser tool first So we are going to be repeating this process again and again. I am just going to fast forward it. So the font cell works best when there is a baseline on which all the particular letters sit. So hit Ctrl R and bring in the ruler and start positioning your A the way you want in font cell to exist. So where the ruler is positioned doesn't matter but what matters is how you position your letters on the baseline. So the position matters a lot here. I'll be zooming into the letters to make sure that they sit on the baseline properly but let me just position them roughly on the line first.
And as you can see, I form two types of edge. One that goes a little bit below the baseline and the other one is the normal edge. So this whole process of first editing and then all clicking to duplicate the letters and then making sure that they sit properly on the baseline has to be repeated again and again till you complete the entire letter form. Since you've seen the lowercase letters process, I'm going to fast forward it because we still have a long way to go. So when it comes to R, we already have an R which doesn't have entry and exit stem. 
but we are going to be editing it because it seems to have a little bit of exit stem so we are going to cut it off for the second hour cut off the exit stem since it's difficult to edit the third hour we are going to be adding the exit stem directly to the first hour so this way we have created the three hours Now let's move on to uppercase letters, numbers and punctuation. Bring in the ruler to form a baseline for the uppercase letters. Do the same for numbers and punctuation marks. Select the uppercase letter and then ALT click on O and then hit vertical align bottom. This will make it align properly to the baseline. In the next video we are going to import all this to the font self.